Hi listeners, join us down the rabbit hole today. I am very excited to share this episode with you. We are going to talk grounding yourself and following your dreams with the very talented Sabrina Say Paul. She is a model, singer, actress, musician, and dancer with a master's degree to top it all off. She's been in a handful of credited works, most noteworthy are her outstanding, vibrant, and colorful music videos where she sings and dances. You have to check these out for yourself. Just Google Sabrina Say Paul. That's S-A-P-A-L. She is very cool, in my opinion. Um, Today we touch on subjects such as determination, drive, deep breathing, and the challenges that come along the way. So thanks for tuning in. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, spread the word in any way possible if you think we're worth it. Uh, We are worth it, believe me. All right, let's let's do this. Do not disturb. And we're on. Welcome to Pop Therapy Pod. This is Venetia. You can call me Ven for short. And so I'm Sabrina Sapolo. Thank you for having me, Ven. Thank you so much for being here. It's so nice to. We've worked together before. Yes, we um, have. On a small project of mine. It's kind of under wraps right now. So Correct. top secret. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> a little uh, sci-fi movie, a little sci-fi horror suspense movie. Yes, it's very interesting. I've never done anything like that, so stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, you should see her other work. Oh my gosh! Thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, lots of the very colorful work that you do. Yeah, for sure. Just because it's like part of the Indian culture, and a lot of Indian culture and Middle Eastern culture is so colorful with um, the clothing, and also with um, the jewelry, and and just like the you know back uh backgrounds and drapes and uh all of that <laughs> very nice mm-hmm. very nice yeah i really enjoy yes. watching what you do and like she's just constantly on it always doing the next thing <laughs> next project all Thanks. the time so what kind of led you to where you are now i mean i consider you pretty established especially for someone so young Thank and you. yeah you it seems like you're really working at it Yeah, I mean, um, this is my passion, and um, I did study for a while, which was um, kind of like my my dad's wish that, you know, you should be more academically inclined, and then afterwards pursue your passion, but now, you know, I pretty much told my dad that, um, here's my degrees, and uh, (laughs) now let me do what I want to do, which is my passion, and now, like, there's no stopping, basically, and I'm just going on and on and on and whatever project projects I'm getting I'm pretty much just you know taking them taking them up <laughs> yeah that's uh, I, I was given the advice once that you should always work with what's right in front of you yeah that will lead to the next thing exactly and instead of being you know like um I guess rejecting too much mm-hmm. you know because you kind of never really know and you kind of have to be your own judge at the same time yeah Um, obviously there are certain things you have to say no to, I'm sure. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, you never know what a project can lead you to, like, the next thing. Sometimes you can meet some people there who have, like, other connections and, um, you know, just mingling around with other artists as well, and you can learn a lot from them. Sometimes they give you really great, great advice, um, and you can, you know kind of move forward like that. Um, I'm really open-minded, and um, I love all the genres that I'm offered. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like it. I think um, in order to, if you're open-minded, then yeah. it seems like you're just going to keep attracting more positivity to because you're open. You're not, like, shutting down. I have to do, things have to be a certain way. I, yeah. And you're not, you don't seem like a very difficult person to work with, at least not with me. I, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you for that. Um, yeah, I try to just be kind of flexible. And um, if I'm acting or if I'm singing, I try to be malleable. Sometimes I'm offered genres that I'm not really, um, not necessarily not comfortable with, but it's something that I'm not familiar with. Mm -hmm. But I like to be out of my comfort zone just so that I learn more about, you know, Mm -hmm. those specific genres. Like, for example, the short film that we're working on, it's horror, and I've never done anything really um, horror-based before, so that's really interesting for me. Like, it excites me, honestly, to, (laughs) to be doing new stuff cool I'm glad to hear that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um so was there anything like too like risky you had to do or any risks you took like to get you know noticed um I don't know about risks but um I think like every day is a risk if you think about it like um really deep it, 
if you go on set, like, you risk, like, your ego in a way, <clears throat> excuse me, um, you also risk, um, like, just being out of your comfort zone, um, sometimes when you're on set, you're asked to do things that you might not be comfortable with, like, okay, now you have to, you know, walk in these heels across this right. thing and, <laughs> and say this and all that. And sometimes depending on like the director that you're working with, um, there's so many different types of personalities. So that in a way is a risk, but it's a good risk because it kind of keeps your ego in check. It's kind of like, okay, like this is real work and I shouldn't be worrying about all these little minuscule things. Um, but as far as like big risks, um, I couldn't think of any on the, like the top of my head. I try to think positively, like everything's, um, you know, going to lead to something good. Um, it's kind of like the, yeah. the law of attraction in a way. <laughs> right. I yeah. totally believe in that. Yeah. 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 So. Very good. Yeah. Um, I think that if you are following your dreams, mm -hmm. that you're, you know, there are things that are unexpected that will come up. However, it seems like you really got a handle on your education first yeah which is something to be really proud of thank you I yeah. appreciate it I did it all the opposite way I quit yeah. school to go do stand-up comedy <laughs> nice. for three years well, that's so cool though <laughs> it was a good good experience yeah for me. I enjoyed the experience uh -huh. however now I'm going back to school and that's so great. yeah and I'm still working on my projects I mean I never yeah. gave up like working on towards my dreams I mm. just um I kind of learned the hard way, I'd say. Yeah. People weren't, were not happy with me not going to school, so. Um, yeah, say, yeah, I can totally understand <laughs> that, because sometimes you get, like, pressure from your parents, like, you know, school first, and then um, everything else comes afterwards, or it doesn't matter. I feel like everybody kind of has their own path. Mm -hmm. Whether you do your schooling first or you do, like, your creative work first, um, everybody just has their own journey, and yeah. I think that's something that you need to respect um regardless of what you do first um I personally wish that I had um majored in music I feel like it would have helped me a lot more in what I'm doing like uh. full time now but um I'm glad that I have the resources like a, a vocal coach and um you know singing teacher and, and dance instructors and all that like to my um like I have them at like my my the tip of my fingers like I can definitely utilize that so that's great um, to know that it's never too late to learn yeah. something new. And you uh, still look, craft. <laughs> yeah, you look like you're, I don't know, 19. <laughs> thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I, I <laughs> could not, I'd not be able to tell, really, thank honestly. You. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> um, so what matters, why, what drives you? Like, what matters the most to you as mm -hmm. far as, like, going for what you really want? Yeah, so, um, like, my main focus is music, um, but with my music when I make music videos I like to be featured in them um like as an actress or or a model um if you will or um you know just doing projects um with acting it could be short films feature films or um even modeling uh these are some things that I I just love it's just creativity is something that drives me just the simple you know concept of creativity nothing mm -hmm. else drives me it's just I love this so much that um, I'm willing to just keep on learning and, and that yeah. drives me alone. Like there's nothing really, um, you know, to think really difficultly about. It's just creativity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you have the modeling, yeah. you have the acting and the singing. And the dancing. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Jeez, you're, you're a quadruple threat. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm still working on uh, everything, working on my dancing. Um, I'd love to know, like, different forms of dance, so. <laughs> yeah, for I just, sure. Yeah. yeah. But, like, uh, but thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> of course. I mean, jeez, like, uh, gotta, gotta hit on, like, uh, the fact that you, you really are, no, you're a... Uh, <laughs> You also have the education behind you, too. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess so. so. <laughs> we won't get into that, though. Yeah, that's um, fine. That's okay. a boring part. <laughs> we, well, we can skip that. People, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Um, so, okay. So, I want to talk about your side projects that you do. Mm -hmm. um, I know you do these, like, productions where you go and you're the actress mm -hmm. or you're the dancer. Yeah. Um, but do, what do you do on the side, kind of, like, that... Uh, what's the main focus and what are the what's the what's the on the side basically? Yeah, sure. Um, 
Well, I love doing modeling on the side. Like I, um, I do some shoots sometimes. It could be like catalog shoots, magazine shoots, um, also like fashion shoots or for boutiques. Uh, oh, yeah. Right. So if they um, tell me, okay, um, wear our clothes and um, just model it for like a catalog or for a magazine or something like that. I also did like some ramp walking, which was really fun. Um, but you really gotta watch, like in those high heels, just don't uh, fall, just don't uh, fall. That's what you're thinking in your head yeah, all the I can time. Picture that, I can yeah, picture that. for sure. So, um, but yeah, that's kind of like the side stuff that I do is modeling. Um, I love acting, but I think um, singing is something, or music in general, is something that I'm really really passionate about like I would say that's um the main focus I play like a bunch of instruments as well mm -hmm. um in high school I played um clarinet and tuba um and I was in the marching band <laughs> so um playing tuba and marching I kind of wanted to uh prove a point that like girls can play tuba too and, right and hey. we can we can yeah. march you know and um yeah, and I love clarinet, and I also play, like, a variety of Indian instruments, like, mostly wow. percussion. Wow. And then when I'm making, like, compositions, uh, melodies and stuff, I know a little bit of every instrument to be able to um, make those melodies. Like, if I'm on the keys, <laughs> I can, you know, kind of play some chords and, and um, find my way through to, like, a melody, or, like, even with guitar, like, just a few chords and stuff. Just nice. The, yeah, basic stuff. <laughs> yeah, so you're, like, a little band in, uh, on your own. <laughs> you can just so. have your own little band when you play yeah. all the instruments. Maybe. I'll and be, same. like, clarinet, then run to my tuba, yeah. and then run or, to my keys. <laughs> yeah, or you could do, like, on a, on a uh, machine, you know? Some people, like, they have these machines where they, they, they have all the different... Um, uh, instruments on yeah. the machine, and then you like press a button and it plays. plays the oh yeah, instrument. yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, like the little squares. Yeah, that they do. Yeah. yeah, I forgot what they're called, like beat makers or whatever. Yeah. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so what uh, do you do to like ground yourself? I mm -hmm. I've studied a little of um, Eastern philosophy, right? Um, and like meditation, do you do mm. meditation or yoga or anything like that? Yeah, for sure. Actually, my um, vocal instructor, um, she noticed that I looked a little tense when I was singing, like mm -hmm. maybe it was just anxiety or, or just like, you know, my shoulders would be kind of up to my ears like, and, yeah. <laughs> you know, like yeah. you got to be like, uh, you know, back yeah. and straight yeah. and all of that. And then she recommended that I would try yoga. And it's so funny because like me coming from an Indian culture, being introduced um, to yoga yoga by a non-Indian it's it's kind of like you know <laughs> it's funny <laughs> right yeah, yeah but yeah. um I tried yoga and um I loved it like I I did meditation I do like certain poses and all of that and I really feel that it um opened up like my throat chakra and yeah. also um it's relaxed me a lot more um like less anxiety and also um my lung capacity has grown a little bit mm -hmm. And, you know, you kind of learn how to breathe. That might sound funny to people, but you need to breathe, like, wide. Not, like, when you're inhaling, your, shul your shoulders shouldn't go up. Like, it's your diaphragm that should be widening right. up. Yeah, right. so when you take a breath. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I, I'm kind of yeah. tense right now. Wait, why don't we yeah. take a breath right now? Yeah, Let's sure. Let's try this. Okay, so, what, so what do you like to do? <clears throat> so what I like to do is I just kind of close my eyes or just relax, really. And I don't think about any of my surroundings. I'm just myself in a place and it doesn't matter where I am. And I just take a deep breath and make sure that my diaphragm is uh, enlarged and, and I'm not, you know, bringing my shoulders up to my ears. And then I just exhale. Yeah. And it really, really relaxes me. And uh, it doesn't matter if I'm in a tense situation. This always seems to help mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah. So this is something that I kind of do on my own time. I do meditate when I can um, almost every day, I would say. And then um, I'm kind of like uh, learning about crystals, like healing crystals. I'm actually wearing one right now and oh, it's nice. a satellite. Oh. Yeah. And it has um, great benefits. Um, it opens up the throat chakra. Um, oh. Yeah, so this is something that kind of helps me with singing. I just started wearing it, I think, um, just a, a couple of months ago. Very cool. I just started uh, researching more things about um, 
crystals, basically. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Mm-hmm. I do a bit of crystal healing myself. Like, cool. amethyst is for purity. Yeah. Um, and I, just, I think that's my main one that I use. It's so pretty, too. Um, purple? Yeah. yeah. Purple. <laughs> mm-hmm. Light purple. Yeah. Um, I like moonstone. That always makes me feel good. Nice. To, like, clarity. And, yeah. Yeah, get some clarity. I, and I for wear sure. the ruby for my birthstone. Oh, that's so. beautiful. Yeah. My, uh... Legal birthstone. Mm-hmm. So. Legal birthstone. <laughs> we'll get into that. Okay. I don't want to confuse anybody. Okay. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> no. Um, okay. I actually, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. So uh, now we're back and refreshed. We did our breathing. <laughs> yep. We got connected to our stones. Yes. Uh, for protection. Yes. Must protect yourself energetically. Yes, I agree. Yes, definitely. Um, so do you have any advice for people who are younger than you or who aren't at your level yet? Um, yeah, for sure. Like if I were to give like a younger version of myself like any kind of advice, I would just say that don't be so shy and don't be so, um, yeah, so don't be so shy because the only thing you're going to get from that is regret. Like you might think back and, and, and just think to yourself that, hmm, if I wasn't shy, I could have done this and I could have yeah. done that and I could have, um, you know, approached this person and maybe I missed some op- opportunities. So I think something that I struggled with was shyness and mm-hmm. I still struggle to it, like with it till this day and anxiety and all of that. And um, just like we were discussing earlier, things like yoga and meditation, I think that they really help with these kinds of things. Um, When you're self-conscious or you're shy or or you have anxiety, um, that's something that you need to overcome on your own. It's not something that, um, you know, you can force to happen. You really need to work on it. Mm -hmm. So I would say that and also just use your community to your advantage. Like if you have like a community theater and and maybe you don't have the funds to, you know, have an acting teacher, you don't have like the funds to have a, a singing instructor. Um, use your community like if you have like a local church that has like a community theater or if you have like a a local choir in your um, school or your community just use it to your advantage because you never know like um, you can just improve your craft that way yeah working together with uh, maybe you'll find somebody like-minded too and who who wants to join you and and uh, like collaborating on a project or something yeah yeah and yeah reaching for your dreams yeah for sure (laughs) the shyness thing was a big lesson I learned yeah same here (laughs) oh my gosh do you have any stories um hmm okay so I saw like a, a famous rapper uh it when I was in Turkey and I was at like a, a nightclub in Turkey and um I saw like this famous rapper who was like in a VIP booth and I was mm-hmm. like should I go up to him should I not <laughs> I don't know this is weird because it would be like weird if I were to go up to the VIP booth and be like oh are you this rapper <laughs> or whatever yeah. and um and I kind of missed that opportunity to be like hey what's up you know yeah um, just because I was shy or or just self-conscious or something so th- I mean that's like something very minuscule um it doesn't really have to do much about like my career or or my goals or anything but um I get excited when I see anybody who's renowned and um you know they're a famous musician or 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 singer or something like that so that's one example I can think like at the top of my head and also um I took like this indigenous dance course in university and it kind of uh you would have to kind of act like an animal literally and dance like that specific animal. Mm -hmm. And I just remember um, at the beginning of the course, I was just so self-conscious and there were other students who were also self-conscious. Like, how are you supposed to like, um, you know, be on all fours and kind of act like a a, a cow or like a a cat or something like that? It's kind of like silly. But then I saw some people in the class who were totally just, um, what's the word? Uh, 
just not self-conscious and so open and they didn't care about their surroundings or who was staring at them or how how dumb they looked um mm. and they were just like acting like that animal and it was so inspiring to see because i was like wow they're really in their element right now even mm-hmm. though they look silly you can say but um that kind of, that course kind of made me grow uh, in a way because by the end of the course i was acting like you know <laughs> that <laughs> is specific animal that i was uh assigned you know for a specific role but uh that's just one example um i can think of <laughs> yeah I mean, coming out of your yeah. shell, sometimes it takes years. I, it does, you yeah. Know? And the sooner the better that you learn to just accept yourself for who you are right now. You're not yeah. going to be anybody else in the moment. Yeah. You can grow and, and make changes. And that really, most people, I think, are focused on themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, either that or they're focused on what's wrong with other people. Yeah. Hopefully, they're, they're other, ideally, you'd want to be, okay... I am focused on myself, and I see what's good in other people, and I and I take that in. And um, yeah. I, being so shy growing up here, mm-hmm. um, I grew. I well, I used to live in Arizona. Oh, okay. In the desert. Wow. Yeah, for eleven years. So then we moved here, and I just I I did not want to be friends with anybody when oh, I first wow. moved here. And then I just I retreated into my shell, and yeah. I started judging people mm. en- enormously. Yeah. That I, I, it was more of like a defense mechanism, like, yeah. oh, well, before they can not be friends with me, mm-hmm. I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to reject them first. Yeah. Yeah. Defense. It's def- defense. Yeah, it is. Then yeah. with the, and then I, I still wanted to do my, pr- my performing. Mm-hmm. However, the two kind of conflicted because I didn't want to be social and I wasn't as social as I could have been. Yeah. And so who wants to hang out with somebody who's just a recluse, mm-hmm. you know? For sure. If you're doing that, maybe it's, you know, how can you perform and then when people, like when you're off stage, you're like yeah. just sitting there in your own little shell. Yeah, you know? for sure. Um, and then I did the comedy and I, and I had so much trouble. I was so embarrassed like, yeah. the entire time. I was really young though. Yeah, you for know? sure. It's totally yeah. understandable. Super young. Yeah. Um, and just kind of naive but I'm happy where I, I learned to yeah. me I, I hope that people the younger people today yeah. can learn faster <laughs> yeah I, I agree yeah. yeah I mean that that would be like my biggest advice is just be confident and even if you uh, think that you don't look good or you think that you look kind of silly just let yourself look silly yeah. because um people are gonna maybe think about you looking silly for that moment which will probably be like a few seconds and then afterwards they're gonna forget about it right and they might even um kind of look up to you in a way even though they might not admit it openly but they might look up to you and be like wow that person really has confidence Yes. And um, it's it's not a common thing, uh, so <laughs> you might as well just risk it. I guess there are more recluses out there. You gotta, yeah. you gotta crack that nut. Yeah, crack that nut, exactly. <laughs> or crack that shell. Yeah, I don't know. For sure. <laughs> you know, crack shells. Oh, yes, you do. You yeah. make eggs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. You crack shells, you make eggs. Yep, yep. Okay. <laughs> um, anyway, so where can we find you online? Yeah, so um, I'm on pretty much all the social media platforms. I'm on Instagram, so you can type in Sabrina K. Sapal. So that's S-A-B-R-I-N-A-K-S-A-P-A-L. And um, also I'm on Facebook with the same username, SoundCloud. Um, What else is there? I think those are the main social media platforms. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, so look her up. Book her. <laughs> Thanks. They will. All right. Thanks All for right. having me, Ben. Thanks so much for being here. This has been an absolute joy. And uh, I guess we're signing off. Yes. On Pop Therapy <laughs> Pod. See you next time. See ya. Bye. Bye. Hey, all you pop stars out there. So that's our show. We hope you had a ball. We did. Uh, the show was brought to you by HGA Casting. So check them out on social media. That's Hollywood Talent Associates. Uh, do not forget to check out Sabrina online. And book her. Please. Definitely. Also like, share, and subscribe. And breathe. Please breathe. It's the right thing to do. Thanks, folks. We'll see you on the other side.